so I thought that'd be nice to yeah, have. This some so, what's your, if you don't mind me, I'm, I don't know, but I need to know this, the philosopher. What's your uh, oh, my, explanation my, my, to? Oh, I'm an existentialist, so basically an atheist. But I think that all of the books have something valuable in them. So, when and you say all of the books, which books are you referring to? The Bible, the Quran, the Buddhist. So, which Bible? Like, because there's so many. The, different... Well, the King James version because it's so poetic because it was written by poets in London, not written by God, written by poets, mm. a bunch of people who lived in London. My people. And a, very nice, and a very nice poet wrote this one too. No. Sorry, what's your name? Mike. What's your name? Mike. Mike. Okay, yeah. my name is Abdul. Okay, the reason Abdul. for you stopping here today is for this little clarification, yeah? yeah? This book, yeah, everyone claims that, you know, we have a Bible, it's a religious text, it's a yeah. special book. And yeah, we all respect that. Yeah. It's, 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 it's amazing how, because of our manners, good manners, that we are deprived of uh, truth. In the sense that, because someone, we assume that, look, it's a holy book, therefore I'm not going to question it. Yeah? But it's, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong to question it, by the way. There's nothing wrong. Obviously, we can't be rude. So it's amazing how a lot of people believe, think automatically that, look, like you said, it's amazing that by the Bible, you know exactly poets, people, humans wrote this, yeah? yeah. So therefore, someone, very nice gentleman called Stuff like Muhammad wrote this, but yeah. no, he did not write this. Yeah. Peace be upon him. He did not write this. Okay. He did not write this book. But it came through his head. It came through his head, the content, yeah. the message. It's got nothing to do in the sense that it was it's divine. That's what we say, yeah. Yes. That's what makes it different. It's a very big claim to make yes. like divine, yes. yeah. It's it divine. It came through him. Well, how he heard that. the voice, or yeah, how he heard it. Or I, I did a I did a year of religious philosophy with an Islamic scholar, Christian scholar, Jewish scholar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very familiar. I I I, 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 no, I agree with you, man. But can you see the difference between a man? If yes. if if he came from a man, yes. his intellect, his thinking, yes. yeah. And then if he came from something bigger, something you know, different, it's a massive all, difference. All, all of the major Abrahamic religions have that. So yes. what, the Catholics say that the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, but they're the same thing. They mm -hmm. say it's like a shamrock, a single thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Muhammad is both at the same time a god and a human being, and God speaks through him. So it's this yeah, very simple. Well, you, 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 you're there up to that yeah, point, yeah, but yeah. you've just kind of gone a bit too you far. Just over, yeah, no, no, you've just gone a bit too far. I'll tell you what it is. Number one, with regards to the books, yeah. all, the, all the books, none of the books are in their original form, number yes. one. So meaning even if they were revealed through divinity and right, special, yeah. we, even if they're not here now. That's, yes. that's my point, okay? Right, number yeah. one. Number two, this is the only one left. Yeah. And, number, yeah, and number three, for yeah. us as humans, we yeah. can't just take someone's word for it. We have to yeah. examine it, to assess it, it yeah? And then we can decide if it did genuinely come from something special, Absolutely. okay? Oh, so yeah. this is the thing, this is the reason yeah. why if you do open up, you, it's I amazing will. how a lot of people have come across so I've read it. I yeah. find it amazing. As no, in, no, I haven't read all of it. I've read sections of it. Yeah. And, and, and it's part of a philosophy course, a religious philosophy course. You read really select sections yeah. of, and those sections that, that talk about the, the yeah. major elements of the religion. So I was more, I'm, I'm a Muslim, I was born into, but then I didn't yeah. understand this religion at first. Were you born here? No, no, I was born somewhere else, abroad, but I was, I, I was educated we here, Bangladesh, I was educated here, I did, I, I did a bit of, quite a bit of education here, yeah. and I loved it, and one of the things that I opened my eyes, I'll tell you this, yeah. when we are born into a religion, whether it's Christianity or the Hindu, that we just literally, I'm sorry to tell you this, we just follow blindly in the sense that we, we respect our elders, so therefore yeah. we just abide by what they say. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we do. As yeah. soon as we come to an age of maturity, yeah, yeah, yeah. 18, 16, then we start questioning ourselves, yeah, our own intellect. If I, if, I, if, I, if I followed my father, my father was a card-carrying, godless communist. <laughs> okay, and yeah, there you go. They absolutely. So they're, that's they're, what happened with us. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah, happened yeah. with me. So I just followed yeah. at first just out of respect. But then yeah. I thought, you know what, a lot of things I ask questions. Yeah. This is what you should do. You should ask them, but we don't out of respect. Yeah. So I start asking questions to my own parents. Like, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to pray five okay. times? Why do, and you know, I did that. That's and right. they were like, uh, why are you asking questions? Yeah. yeah, I'm just fast forward the fast yeah, forward sure. version summary. Yeah, why are you asking questions? Oh, my parents did. I asked my parents didn't ask questions. I didn't ask anyone. So therefore, you shouldn't ask questions. Yeah, but yeah. that's not good enough. That's yeah, not good enough answer. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, if you have too many questions, same with Christianity. A lot of yeah, yeah. I had few friends who were Christian. They were asking questions. They went to the church, right. and eventually it went to the point of the like, devil's gone into you. You've been yeah. possessed by the devil. So therefore, you ask it. But yeah. if there is a creator, yeah. and if this creator is all knowing, high and mighty, all powerful then it should be quite clear. If there's any confusion, if there's any need for clarity, yes. this creator should be able to clarify if right. there is a creator. Does that That's make right. sense? It does You'd expect sense. that. Yeah, well, this is, this is the problem, is that, is that there, if, if, if there is an omniscient uh, mm. creator, mm. There, then, then God knows everything, and then that means that there's no such thing as free will. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that a problem for you? There is a free will. There is, everyone asks this question. Isn't that there, a problem? No, it's not a problem. It's, it's misunderstanding. No, no, it's misunderstanding. <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. Fair you have free will. You yeah. have free will. It's like this. It's like this is the example they give. When you're in a school, your yeah. teacher, yeah? yeah? Exam time. Okay? Yeah. yeah? Ultimately, he or she will mark the paper. Yes. Are you with me? 
But how you answer the question is up to you. Does that right. make sense? That you have that. Does. I get that. Yeah. You have that choice. To, yes. yes. Yeah. Right or wrong. You know, is it A, B, or you C? You get to pick. Yeah. But the ultimately, so people think, oh, if the if the examiner is going to decide my marking, so what's yeah, the point yeah. of me doing it? Right. But he's going to mark it based on your. It's yeah, slight difference. The problem is, is that is that, <laughs> that, is that is that's a wager. So what you're saying there is, is that okay? Well, it's like okay, yes, it's an exam, and therefore whatever I do, I need to do, to do my best. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that it's kind of a wager. Then what you're saying is, I will believe this because I believe it, and if I don't believe it, I'm lost nothing. But if I, I do this. believe it, but if I do believe it, then then I'm okay with God, even if I get it a bit wrong. I'll answer this question to you, Mike. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> the reason I was saying about when we were born into a family, we just follow because of the sake of our parents, right. which is not right. We just yeah. literally. Okay. You need to understand. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, a prime yeah. example yeah. to myself, born into Islam Muslim family, yeah. I followed there, no one answered any questions. So I kinda yeah. when I was 16, 17, I didn't really go to the mosque or do any of the worship. Yeah, yeah. because uh, it's not necessary. Okay, yes. if brought up here studying in college uni, especially sociology, I'm thinking, look, yeah. I can make my own mind Absolutely. up, I have an understanding. Sociology so coming from Marxism, it's uh, yeah, very, yeah, yeah, very, 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 so very it's good. fine. But then I came across this leaflet, which is quite a bit coincident, yeah. I came across this leaflet, I don't know yeah, where yeah. it came from, okay? It's yeah. called Quran and Modern Science. Yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. So, I'm in my geography lesson. I think I was 16. Yeah. See, yeah? I'm in my geography lesson and my teacher is telling me that blah, blah, blah. One of the purpose of mountains, yeah, yeah. yeah? Climate, whatever, is that it holds down the land. In the mountains, the actual mountains, Everest, whatever, yeah. acts as a peg. Okay. You know, we're on floating water in that, you know, ocean. Majority yeah. of the earth is okay. motion than land. I, I've never you don't know that. Okay. Like that but I, yes, okay. uh, mountains okay, act yeah. as pegs. I don't, yeah. I don't know how other way. I'm 301% yeah. sure of this. Okay. Mountains act as pegs. Okay. That's how they act as. Okay. But maybe the scientific term might be different for you to, for a lay person to understand. Yeah. That's the message. They act yeah. as pegs. Okay, yeah. mountains. Okay. So I've always heard this. I've, and then I think I've heard this before. Yeah. So I was just reading through the Quran. Yes. Yeah. It says there, the Creator is saying, look, I've created the earth without a lot of detail. But one of the things I've created in the sky what, yeah. and mountains to act as pegs. And I wow, wow, I was a bit blown away. Yeah. Okay, so how did this author yeah. know this 1400 years ago? Right. So surely it's not from this man, yeah? Because yeah. he's just a man, Arab, there's no signs, there's no nothing available yeah. at the time, yeah? So it made me think. Oh, there's a lot of, there was a lot of science in the, in the area that obviously, you know, science and Islam are like that. Over the years, they progress. So, are, are that's true, that's true. And, and, and Islam, like, well, math. Math. All mathematics. Algebra, math, algebra, yeah, yeah, yeah. based on, based on. Arab world before Islam. But at this time, it was quite chaotic. Yeah, Before yeah. Islam came to Arabia, people yeah. were uncivilized. They were burying their daughters alive. This, this right. before Islam came yeah. to that mid, uh, yeah. Wherever the Earth might have originated from, Adam, we, I'm just we don't we don't know what happened there. But what, however we progress as civilization, we got lost in the in the way. Yeah, we got lost while on the way, on the way, yeah. and it came to a point that people were so uncivilized. They were literally burying the daughters because like daughters are not good men. But then this prophet came along, this message was revealed, and the difference between, I'm going on a tangent, I'm going somewhere else now. Yeah, this you're message... Just, you're on one now. I'm, I'm, I'm you're on one. You're marching on. You're not going to give me that book with that lesson. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so the difference was, this yeah. message was uh, the Muhammad gentleman. Yeah, yeah. This message was, all the prophets were given to a specific group yes. of people, yes. specific area. Yeah. Whereas this prophet is given for the whole of mankind. Meaning, unfortunately, whether we like it or not, at the moment, we associate Islam with Arabs. Or, or, or even South Korea. Yeah, I don't but, that, but, oh, that's good. So yeah. this, this is given for everyone. English, yeah. Chinese, whatever. Anyway, going back to the, the my, my story of how yeah. I came. So I saw this, uh, the peg business in the geography lesson. Yeah. I remember why I saw this yeah. in the Quran. So yeah. I went back. Not straight away, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I read a few bit more. Then I saw stuff like the uh, process of... Uh, embryology, you know, that baby's been born, and that's mentioned very detailed in this book. Yes. Okay, I'm not into, I'm not into biology. I mean, yeah. that's one of my worst subjects. And that again blew me away. Yeah. Then there's astronomy, yeah, about the universe, about the sun and the moon. So all this stuff made me think, surely this couldn't have come from like a man. Or, or, yeah, a poet even, yeah? Okay, yeah. Wherever it's come from, it's something beyond this, especially at that time. Yeah. That's what made me to this book, and I read more, and as I read more, it made sense to me. And the reason is very important for me to know. Yes. I'm, I don't believe in blind faith. Yeah, yeah. In other words, you have to do it. Yeah, yeah. But we should base our faith on some sort of information, something that makes sense to us. In other words, I'm going to finish off now. Watch yeah, yeah. it. No, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. One of the things I say is, I, I would. So the subject of mathematics, yeah, yeah. okay? One and one makes two. So I understand what one is a unit, yeah? yeah? Two, two and two makes four. So if I'm confident with these numbers, so one of us, we learned that actually all numbers aren't whole. We learned a partial number. Something else. I don't know. But anyway, so one and one makes two. Two and two makes four. Three and three 
six makes six. Yeah. So if I'm confident and if I understood exactly the units, yeah. so if someone was to say to say, say to me, look, four and four makes eight, I could base yeah. my belief in the fact that everything else I understood, yeah. I looked at, made sense to me. Therefore, I'm basing it on that. Yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. I don't have to do that calculation of four and four. I've done one and one. I've got one. Yeah. And I've got two. I've done three, but two. The problem is, is that we know that quantum mechanics tells us that sometimes don't, one don't take me one literally, Mike. You're taking me literally. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying to you, if someone came up to you randomly and said, uh, "Look, four and four makes eight. Accept it." I'm like, I don't even know what four is, for example. Yeah, yeah. but I accept it. That's called following something with that understanding. That's called. You know what? I'm going to base my faith on you. I, I have faith in you. That's not Islam. Islam says yes, come into faith, but based on evidence, understanding. That's the difference. You know, convince. I don't sound. No, no. It, I, I admit, I believe. So I did. I didn't. So I didn't follow this religion because of my mom and dad. Are you with me? And I, I'm not following it today because oh, I need the word religion. I don't like. It doesn't do justice to this. Okay, because religion, common, keeps people in common or, or in a, a, a worship, faith. Yeah. No, it's one this of the is, nicest things about Islam is that anyone can join and anybody can belong to it. That's one of the nicest things about it. I'll finish up with this. I didn't ask you what this book was. Uh, do you know anything about this book? The I difference know quite was. A bit about it. Yes. I'll tell you three things while yeah. you're walking away. Okay. On. Number one, the content. Yes. Now I'll start with the other way around. Preservation yes. from the inception when it came together yes. to today is still in one form. Exactly. One form. That's, that's number one. So when I thank you, when yeah. I first said this, I didn't think it was a big deal. I'll be honest with you. Yeah? But I thought about our translations. So we know, for example, the Saudis are taking lines out and putting other lines. In. Done, Not done. lines. They are translation. Oh, Literally, yeah. like okay, different. Yeah. Like there's no taking in and out. But yeah, yeah. one of the miracles of this book is that the creator said, "I will, put, I will, I will protect this book." Yeah, yeah. If there is, I will protect this book. Yeah. So therefore, if some Saudi did try, they won't get very far. Yeah. So anyway, number one, this is the only book that's left in its original form from the day it was put together today. Yeah. Number two, the content. Okay, you can read it yourself. It's up yeah, to you. Yeah. Does it make sense? Is are there any contradiction? Are there any errors? Yeah. You read it. You know how many times you want, you will not find any any errors. That's the challenge. Yeah. And lastly, it, it apply. It's time proof. Okay, the book that came before uh, all the other books here, yeah, they're specific to a certain time. Yeah. You read it, religious, in a church, whatever. That's it. It doesn't relate to your life. Yeah. This related to then, now, even in the future. Mike, I don't know how much it got through. Um, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You know what? I've earned this book. <laughs> I went through a lot to get this book. No, you be saying this. Uh,